everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rainy. Um, I hope that everybody's having a great day. Let me know what you're doing today, what you've had for lunch, what you're going to have for dinner. Um, I'm home right now by myself and I'm kind of snacky. And this is my very, very first mukbang. <laughs> whatever the fuck that is. I call it fuck bang, but whatever. Um, so for my very first mukbang i'm going to do a spicy ramen um like i said this is my very first time so i'm not really sure how this is gonna go i'm not gonna lie i got some spices here and i love spice and everything but man let me tell you i've seen some people eat the spiciest stuff ever and kudos praises and accolades to them i don't think i could really do it but i'm gonna try and unfortunately, for my very first time, I don't have any fucking chopsticks. <laughs> and I was at the store even today, and I totally forgot to grab some. I used to have some here because we eat sushi all the time, and I think I threw them out. So, But anyway, I've got my griddle right here. Um, I already did a little prep work. I've got my ramen. I already cooked it. There's no seasoning on here yet. Look, you can still see it. It's still kind of steaming. Um... Yesterday, we actually had um, we had Red Lobster, and I made a dipping sauce for my crab legs, and it's been sitting in the fridge. So you can see it's totally, like, solidified. Uh, it's nothing but butter, onions, garlic, some hot sauce, some basil, um, some Himalayan pink salt, and stuff like that. So this is going to be the base for my frying my noodles. I'm just gonna scoop some out here and let's just pray to God. <laughs> let's just pray to God it doesn't fuck me up too bad and spray everywhere. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Yum. Ooh, splatter, 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 splatter. All right, that should be good for now. Anyway, I've got two packages of ramen that I pre-cooked, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's splattering a little bit. Maybe I got the heat on too high. So, I apologize in advance for the scraping of my skillet with my fork, because I don't have chopsticks. So, we are going to actually kind of, like, slow cook these noodles, because I don't want them, like, fried hard. Um, I only um, cooked them halfway, so they're kind of al dente. I love to cook, y'all. And I haven't posted a video for a long time on my channel, so this is something new for me, like I said. And I'm totally excited, I'm very nervous, and I'm probably going to fuck up a few times here, but whatever. So, in, in that case... Um, this is my whiskey. I've got Jim Beam and Coke here, and um, that's just what I do. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. We're going to put some noodles on here. Ah! It's frying! <laughs> Shit! Oh, yeah. Come to mama. Alright. Like I said, I apologize in advance for the splattering. I'm burning myself. Ah! Shit! <laughs> Get fire! Alright, maybe I should turn my heat down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn the heat down, turn the heat down. Alright. Fuck sticks, man. <laughs> I'm gonna fry my legs. I got shorts on. And this shit is flying everywhere. I'm trying not to scrape my pan, my griddle. Ooh. Oh my god, it's, well, it smells good already because of that concoction I made yesterday for my crab legs. Oh my god, it was so fucking good, y'all. I'll have to. I'll have to uh, make a video on how to make it. It's really, really good. Really, really good. I'm hoping this mukbang goes well. 
I don't know. Um, hopefully it will be sufficing to those with uh, the auto sensory tingles. This does it for you. The ASMR. I don't really have that, but I do like certain sounds. I love the sound of uh, things cooking, for sure, because I love to cook. That's what my channel is predominantly about, is cooking. Um, and my Instagram page, I'll leave that link below too. It's basically the same thing, but it's just more pictures on Instagram because you can't post full videos, as y'all know. Alright. Woo-wee! Okay. So, I'm going to let those just kind of fry up a little bit. Sorry for the steamage. <laughs> Told you. First mug bang, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear. So, I've got some lemon here. I love lemon on my noodles. I love like a, a cheesy, garlicky, lemony pasta. So let's do that. Let's put one lemon, well, that's half of a lemon right there. So we'll do that first. Kind of get the base, the base flavor note down. I have no idea what I'm doing, y'all. I feel like such a dork. My man's going to laugh at me, too. He's going to be like, what the hell are you doing, woman? And I warned him. I warned him. I told him I was going to make one of these videos and see <laughs> see how well it went. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so. I have been one of many different ventures in my life, especially when it comes to food, dieting, weight loss, eating healthy. I'm 46 years old, and my body has changed. My mind has changed. Um, I'm just happy with myself, and I love food, and I'm going to eat whatever the fuck makes me happy and makes me feel good. And though carbs are not necessarily good for you, um, I like them, especially on um, that time of the month, because carbs make me feel better. They put me to sleep, actually, so that way I don't have to deal with the cramps and all that other bullshit. So, and my man knows, whenever I'm on my girl thing, uh, I need pasta, cheesy pasta, if you will, please, and just leave me alone. Don't talk to me. Don't move me. Don't do anything. Just go away. Feed me. <laughs> That's it. So, I do have some uh, low sodium soy sauce, so I'm going to just throw a few dashes of that on there. It smells so fucking good already. So, I got the, um, the ramen that has the little chicken packets in it, but I did not add the chicken packet um, when I cooked the noodles, when I parboiled them, um, which parboiled means half cooked. So I did not add that because I'm going to add my other flavors and um, I didn't want anything to kind of disrupt the spiciness and hopefully I don't pass out from spice because <laughs> it's going to be so fucking hot and I'm going to be, I'm going to be sweating my ass off probably. So I've got two different spices. Um, and this video is not sponsored by anybody or or anything, not one product or anything like that. I'm a huge Buffalo Wild Wings fan, and my favorite sauce is this, their spicy garlic. So I'm going to add this to my noodles, as well as a Chinese chili paste and some mild cheddar shredded cheese. It's going to be so good. Okay. Man, I hate that all that steam is right here. Like, oh my god. Maybe I should maybe I should just call this channel my my drunken mukbang channel or something. I don't know. But if you guys have any ideas on things you would like to see me cook and eat in front of you or whatever, um basically why I'm doing this is because I get bored. 
I love to eat and I'm home all day. Yes, I'm a I'm housewife, <laughs> so to speak. And um, I cook for just me and my man and that's it. And sometimes, you know, he gets home late and I eat alone and I just I just want something to do. I just want something to do. So I would love for y'all to join me. Sorry for this great thing. I know it's probably making some people very mad. And normally I don't do that. I swear, swear, swear. I normally have good utensils. And I use wood on my, my skillets and griddles and stuff like that. I'm smart that way, but I just don't have that available to me right now. Okay, so I'm going to get my spicy garlic. I love this shit. It's the best. It's absolutely amazing. Oh. Mm. oh my goodness. All right. Mmm. Oh. And if y'all could smell this right now, you would flip the fuck out. It's amazing. Okay, here comes the chili paste. I don't know. I don't, I'm scared. <laughs> I really am. I'm kind of scared as to how this is gonna how this is gonna work out for me. But we'll try it. We'll try it. If you can see me through the fucking steam, good lord. And I need a better setup, I know. Um, we live in a travel home, so I'm very limited on space and um, <laughs> having a good work area. But this is just going to have to do for my first video and however many more to come. And you're just going to have to deal with it. So, here is my chili paste. Look at that. Oh my god. Whoo! Shit. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't know how people do this. Thank God I bought Zantag today, huh? Oh, that's way too much. That's probably way too much. I'm going to I'm going to be on fire, y'all. I'm going to be on fire and y'all are going to hear me screaming and go berserk. So maybe when I put the cheese on it cuz this is going to be che spicy cheesy ramen. I'm going to put the cheese on it. It'll mellow it out. Oh, look at that. Look at that stuff. That is amazing. It smells so good. It doesn't really smell that spicy at all. Maybe I just didn't put enough. So we'll have to do a taste test first. And then, uh, look at that. Ooh, shit fire. <laughs> I don't know what else, I don't really know what else to say but that because it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot. So, here comes the shiz. Oh, spicy, cheesy goodness. Yeah, uh, so much for my diet, right? not really on a diet. I'm just controlling my my food intake. Um, I probably won't eat all this so y'all know right now ahead of time. <laughs> There's definitely going to be some leftover shit for later. And oh my god. Oh, you hear that sizzle? Mmm. Mmm. Alright y'all. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. Woo! Yeah, that's hot. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna take a drink. Alright. Woo! Back. Alright. So Kudos to my 
my favorite mukbang people that I love to watch. Chelsea Lynn, you are my favorite. Trailer Trash Tammy, I fucking love you, girl. B loves life. I love her. And Nikocado Avocado. You guys are amazing. And you kind of gave me inspiration to do this wacky stuff. And I don't know why. Because, you know, I mean, who, <laughs> who does this kind of stuff just at random? Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, that's going to have to cool down a little bit because that is way too piping hot temperature-wise for me to put in my mouth. But that looks so good, doesn't it? Y'all want to eat that, don't you? So, you know, for anybody that is struggling through life, emotionally, mentally, physically, you know, any kind of bullshit life bullshit because god knows i have fucking gone through it and i'm sick of dealing with stupid people i'll tell you that right now I'm sick of dealing with stupid people so i do my thing i do weird stuff random shit all the time um i've got kids y'all but they don't live with me um i see my daughter every other weekend and everything my other kids i don't see that's another story in itself but um i try to keep myself occupied busy, mentally, physically, eh, you know, whatever. Um, we live in an RV park, so I have a huge, huge lot of amenities to do. Um, sometimes I take, take up on it, sometimes I don't. But it just depends. So I have been through years and years and years of going through different uh, online businesses. Um, <sighs> direct sales, all kinds of shit. And, you know, I know that there's, there's a way of life for people that can't get out of the house or don't have enough education or don't have a vehicle to transport themselves or, you know, don't have friends and family or just, they just don't have anything. You know, and not saying that that's me. I mean, I have I have a lot, and I'm very fortunate as to the things that I do have in my life and where I've been and what I've gone through to where I am now. I thank God every single day for the life that I have now because I was so miserable before. And fortunately enough for me, I am able to stay home and do stupid shit like this. My man laughs at me all the time because I'm always coming up with different uh, business concoctions, you know, like we wanted to open up a food truck and, um, you know, I make my own seasonings and sauces and I cook every day all the time, just about, you know, I mean, if I don't cook every day, it's like every other day, every three days or whatever, you know, we order out. Um, we actually, what was it? Grubhub. Grubhub delivered the fucking Red Lobster yesterday. <laughs> You know, but we, we travel a lot, and it's it's nice, and, and I'm very fortunate, and I'm very, very happy with my life, and I love my man, and everything that we have going on right now, and to be able to share what little bit of life that I can with somebody that could brighten up somebody's day, even by doing little things like this, man, it makes me feel good knowing that somebody else is smiling on the other side of the camera so I just wanted to say that I know I probably don't make any sense and I talk in circles and I go very random <laughs> my man laughs at me for that too I told him the other day I said yeah I'm just here for your amusement <laughs> but we ride and we travel all the time and stuff and you know it's just it is what it is so I have to come up with ways to entertain myself. I love to paint. I do abstract painting with acrylic paint and everything. I love to cook. I love to dance. I love to sing. You know, I love my kids. Even though they probably don't think I do. <laughs> and the assholes that are on the other side of them are worthless. They just use them as pawns. That's another story. 
Anyway, anyways, you know, everybody's got shit in their lives, man. It doesn't fucking matter one way or the other what you got going on. Everybody's got something. And if you're willing and you're, you trust yourself enough to let that shit out and let it go and leak it out to the world, you're better off. Because if you keep it in, it's just going to make you sicker. It's going to make you worse. It's going to stress you the fuck out. And you keep it in, you're going to implode and you're going to have a miserable fucking life. And I can't do that anymore. I was miserable before, and I just can't do that shit anymore. So, I'm not going to do it. Anyway. So, I was thinking, too, because I'm a huge Buffalo Wild Wing fan, I'm going to get some wings, and I'm going to do a bang on their wings. Look at that. This is so fucking hot right now, I'm scared to put it in my mouth. Okay, get, let me get those higher out of the way. God damn it, it's hot. Oh my God. <coughs> Y'all probably think that I don't, I didn't put enough um, chili sauce in there, but let me tell you something. This is skookum fucking spicy. Holy shit. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so good, though. It's good. It's spicy, but it's good. I love spicy stuff. You know what? It's, it's spicy, but it's not overly spicy that I can't handle it. I probably could add a little bit more to it, but hanging on for me um you can taste the chili sauce and the spicy garlic from the uh the buffalo wild wings i'm sorry for the loud rough noise in the background being that we live in an rv um it's the air conditioner it's really loud it sounds like a fucking tornado running through here so it kind of interferes with my videos. So if you can't hear me, please leave a comment below to let me know that you cannot hear me good or the sounds or, you know, something so that I can work on that. Because I'm, I'm trying to progress in being a professional. Mmm. <laughs> uh-huh. You know what's funny too is that I have pet peeves about people eating and smacking and chewing with their mouths open. But for all intents and purposes, this is perfect just for that reason. For those those people with those sensory issues. Ugh. Because I always get after my kids about chewing with their mouth open and smacking or scraping their teeth on their fork. I can't stand that shit, man. It drives me fucking bunkers. I can't stand it. You know what? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have parboiled this ramen so much because it's it's pretty much disintegrating. That's really good. I would have never. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> I would have never thought to make cheesy, spicy ramen fucking noodles. <laughs> Damn you, mukbang people! Mm mm. Oh, yeah, and I'm getting bits and pieces of the onion and garlic from my little sauce that I made yesterday for my crab legs. It's so good. That was hot. It's temperature hot. <coughs> it hasn't cooled down yet. 
but it intensifies the heat from the chili and the, the spicy garlic. It's so good. Mm. So, being that I'm new to this, this is my first mukbang. Or fuck bang as I want to call it. Because <clears throat> it's like, holy fuck, man. <laughs> mm. If you guys have any ideas or want to see me eat something, you know, chicken wings, you want um, animal fries, because I've seen a bunch of people do that too. Or how about I go through a drive through and get whatever the first person ordered in front of me. I can do that too. So I think that would be a lot of fun, huh? My man is going to think I'm totally batshit crazy, more so than he already thinks I am. Oh my god. <coughs> Ooh wee. Mm. So, I was born in Louisiana, in Opelousas to be frank, and I love boudin and gumbo and crawfish etouffee and and I make gumbo. It's so fucking good. But I'm part Spanish too. So <clears throat> I make enchiladas, I make I make red sauces and green sauces and avocado sauces and I make pozole, I make I make all kinds of shit. I make all kinds of crazy shit. I can make a cheesecake. My favorite, which I have to do after this video is done, I have to make my man some rum chata ice cream. Yeah, you heard me right. Rum chata. It's the it's the cream alcohol. Excuse me. Mmm. A liqueur. It's a liqueur. It's so fucking good. Mm. Uh-huh. Sorry, y'all. I was sitting I was sitting on my leg. I feel like I'm so short. I got this thing up in my face. Woo! <coughs> Woo! Thank God for whiskey, because it... It tones down the spice. <laughs> Woo wee! Damn it! That's good. That's good shit. Hmm. So we live in Texas, south of Fort Worth, and the weather here has been so fucking crazy lately. We get so many windstorms. And we always have tornadoes and stuff like that. Tornado threats or whatever, you know. It's like, an, we're in imminent danger. So we, we flip around. We flip around the channels and make fun of the newscasters because they're all different. One we think's on crack. The other one, he's got some weird issues. He talks in, in synchromance. Like, he'll say something and then start... And then start... And he'll start talking again. Yeah, I did that on purpose. You know, and not making people with, not making fun of people with speech impediments or anything like that. But because he's fully capable of making a full sentence, but he just pauses. It's so, so crazy. And then there's this one lady that we make fun of every single morning. I'm not gonna say her name, <laughs> but she, we refer to her as vampire lady she is she <laughs> she's a dirty whore she's a dirty whore we know it she I mean she's married got kids and stuff like that but man you can just tell she you can just tell she likes it mm, in the butt something she talks real slow and seductive and like it's 702 now back to you blah 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 you know <laughs> it's so fucked up 
You guys ever do that? Do you make, when you're watching TV, do you make fun of the people that you're, you're watching and like, what's wrong with them? Because we do it all the fucking time. We do it all the time. It's crazy. Oh my god, this is a 30 fucking minute video already. I got some editing to do, huh? Mm. Okay. Well. First mukbang down. <coughs> I'm not going to be able to finish this all, you guys. I'm not. One more bite, and then I'm done. Mmm. Man. That was really fucking good. And this was really fun. Sometimes, you know, people get really nervous because they're they're on video, they're by themselves, and you feel like a nutcase because you're talking by you're talking to yourself. I talk to myself all the time. Without the camera on. You find yourself talking to yourself because there's well, one, there's nobody else around. Two, some people may not give a shit what you're talking about. Um, three, you're just bored. You know, you're by yourself, whatever. And for me, <laughs> year, years ago with the people I used to be around, I was way too smart for them. I didn't want to talk to them. So I talked to myself because I understood me. And that's what mattered most. You know, and I talked to my kids. My kids are smarter than they are. And that's... <laughs> that was pretty fucking funny. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas for me, leave me comments. Don't be too hard on me. It's my first time. My first time. So, you know, be gentle. So let me know if you want to see me try something else, cook something else. Uh, like I said, go out to, you know, fast food place and pick something up and just eat whatever the first person ordered or the person in front of me ordered, whatever. Um just whatever just let me know because i can pretty much cook anything i mean i can't cook a you know whole chicken in front of you right here and stuff like that and just chow down and that'll take hours and hours and hours so it does take a lot of prep work prior to sitting down like i made the noodles and yes granted you know, ramen noodles only take a couple minutes to cook but getting everything else ready the camera the griddle setting everything up and yes sorry for the, <laughs> the background there it blocks out the sun so there's not so much glare in here so anyway just give me your your suggestions your thoughts please like and subscribe uh push the little bell there so uh, you can get notifications because i'm going to be doing more videos pretty much i would say if i can every other day if possible depending on how many requests that I get hopefully I get a shit ton of them so you fuckers better get on it right now see you later bye